Do you have a Google camera that can work so well with your phone, the main camera sensor and the selfie and you're just enjoying it? Well, that is good. But today we want to take it to the next level. How about we talk about a Google camera that can work not just with your main camera, but with telephoto lens and also with wide angle to give you the best picture experience out there in smartphone. If you're ready about that, let me show you. Welcome again to Smart Depot today. Today we're going to be talking about Google camera and using auxiliary camera sensors or secondary camera sensors. Um, this is very, very important because while some people are finding it difficult to even find a good GCam for their devices, we've done loads of video on how to find the GCam, how to do the settings. So if you're watching for the first time, just click on that subscribe button and then you can check out our playlist uh, on GCam for a whole lot of things you want. So if you've done that, let's just go in into the video. If you watched our latest Gcam advanced setting, you will know that my favorite Gcam camera is uh, Gcam 7.3 by Parrot, the version 1 and version 2. It's so, so loaded, takes great pictures. But when you go into the advanced setting, you will realize that one of the downsides is that there's no option or setting for you to use auxiliary cameras. And mind you, my phone has four different cameras, rare cameras. So, um, TRO camera, which I've shown you is one of the most advanced uh, cameras uh, for Gcam, uh, gives me that option. So, <laughs> I was quite excited. I actually had to rush in to update, you know, to version 3. I was in version 2 and I updated. You can see the option to turn on the telephoto macro lens wide angle, which is very, very important. So, I did that on the version 3, which somehow, based on Gcam 7.2, and then I was like, okay, newer version, let's check it out. Only to turn in the telephoto at wide angle and discover that, ah, this is not looking good. And even if you take the picture, it was like, oh, this is rubbish. Okay, the good thing here is that the main camera still takes picture and it might work for other devices because this is not just designed for just one device. It's designed for a lot of devices. So after, you know, going through is the, the, the macro lens also works. After going through it, I was like, oh, I have to downgrade back to the one that works well for me which is version 2 and is based on Gcam 7.3. I explained that <laughs> discrepancies in the video. You can see it in the description. Okay, so now when it comes to this, the, it takes even better picture. The, the older version takes, for me, this is sharper. This is more detailed than the picture from the version 3. So, um, but that's not just all here. When it comes here, what I'm trying to say is that newer is not always the best if you're going to use all the secondary sensors with Gcam in your phone. So you have to find the one that works for you. Now see the wide angle. And even the picture quality of the wide angle here is quite good. Not, a, not as good as the main, but it's, it's quite, quite, quite good, you know, for a picture, which is better than my stock wide camera. So um, this is very, very important. But uh, when it comes to using multiple sensors with Gcam, uh, like this macro now, you go in close. This one can take the closest of shots here up to one or two cm you can still get focus on that and take a picture but when it comes to multiple lenses on camera there are a whole lot of problem like app crashing like this when you use another sensor i'm going to explain to you right now why it happens when you're using a gcam that can work with multiple sensors one thing you have to know is that you have to return back to your main camera before making a switch else if you try to go from like the macro lens to the gallery it might crash as you can see right now i'm going to move from the main uh, camera to the gallery it wouldn't crash it will show me the pictures i can scroll in and see other pictures if i want so now i'm going to replicate it again why it crashed now if i go back to the macro lens which is very very important this macro lens can zoom in very 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 close object to very 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 close object which actually if you try to do with the main camera you won't be able to do that if you try to do that zoom in with the main camera you won't be able to zoom in at that close range and this is good maybe you want to snap a test as you can see the main camera can actually focus at this range so that's one of the important things actually don't use that macro you know lens all the time but um it has a reason so if you switch from this macro lens right now to the gallery the app is going to just crash 
Why? And I'm going to explain why. So, because some people have actually been having this problem app crashes with Gcam, especially Gcam that is using uh, multiple lenses. Uh, it is because that the basics here is on the main camera. You have to stay in the main camera to go to make any switch, be it to video, be it to portrait, be it to um, night side, because all these things are coded to work with the main camera so as you can see now portrait uh, video everything with the main camera selected is working so always keep that at the back of your mind because some people have actually told me they are encountering crashes so if you go to the, the macro lens and try to select portrait app crashes because it cannot handle that function from the macro lens so you have to realize that for you to move, do some switches, you have to go back to the main camera. Then if you go to wide angle camera like this now also, and then you want to make some switch, let's say maybe take video with wide angle, which is not actually possible yet with this Gcam, you're also going to get app crash. It doesn't mean that the app is not working. It's just that maybe you don't realize some of the things that you should do for the app to work better. As you see from the main camera, video works. But if you try it from wide angle, it doesn't work yet on this one another thing to look out for is for motion picture and hdr and hdr plus enhanced so um for macro lens definitely is not going to work with motion picture or hdr the main camera hdr will work good enough for this one uh hdr also works for wide angle which is very 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 big plus so you can see this works for the main lens and for it to work for the wide angle camera also is the next level. I'm going to put a link in the description for all the Gcam that can work with uh, auxiliary cameras, uh, telephoto, uh, wide angle, macro in the description. So check it out and see whether anyone works for your device and enjoy the next level of Google camera in your phone. So that will be about that. Make sure you drop your comment in this comment section. Click on that subscribe button, like, share, stay safe, stay inside, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Subscribe. I see.